welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another five coin update we want to take a look at the price up one more time as of course you can see that the market is mixed here some coins are red some coins are green and there is just you know a little bit of uh, loss of sentiment in the market at this point so when i take a look at the price up one more time to try and figure out what exactly is happening what they were and what is expected here on the price side right so you can already see here that i am anticipating something like a 425 percent pump to the upside here hitting a price target of something like 27 dollars on the Firecoin price set. The first reason being that of this crashing structure that we have here, one, two, three, four, five. Usually we have taken a look at examples across the market. Usually what you see is that even in the worst case scenario, if you fail to recover, you at least hit the top of wave four there. So one, two, three, four, five. Normally you come back to the fourth wave there, even in the worst case scenario. And that price that it obviously happens to be something like $27 for Firecoin. So medium term, obviously, Firecoin is looking good. We also have put this wide of accumulation person that you see here. Very, very powerful. More than one and a half years of accumulation right here. So, I mean, you can be rest assured that this is a bullish stance in my own opinion. Nothing really too much to worry about because, I mean, the momentum is there for the bull market to show up right anytime soon. But the question is, what is going to happen in the immediate short term? Because, you know, that's what most of the people are interested in, right? But before we get there, I want to kindly ask you to help me spread the video by delicately tapping the like button. It just helps the YouTube algorithm. People looking for five coin updates will not be able to find this video much more easily. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet, I would encourage you to do so really because I do TA on five coin and a number of altcoins on a regular basis. And without me further running my mouth too much, let's actually get back into the price set. And of course, I want to take you to the one hourly time from here because this is what we have been monitoring uh, ever since we had this crash right here and our conditions are really, really set nice and easy that we are looking for a break and close above the 0.786 fuel adjustment level and that price target is coming like something like uh, you know seven dollars sixty they're about of course the challenge here is for the price to go all the way up there that will actually be something like the 25 percent and really no one is willing to wait on the sidelines for something like 25 percent but at the same time you also need to understand that if you fail to break and close above those uh, you know adjustment levels you are also looking for a 30 percent crash to the upside so it becomes a matter of you know what uh what am i comfortable with you know as a trader as an investor or whatever so in the immediate church you can see that we have already formed something like you know a continuation pattern in my own opinion which is a symmetrical triangle and the price target for this right here if you are to break to the upside you are looking at something like a 14 percent 15 percent pump right at the point of uh you know breakout right here now do i think this is going to happen I think that uh, we will not be able to reach the exact price target right here because, you know, just as I've seen across the markets right over the years, is that these patterns, they are not as perfect as you may think, right? So the market tries to take the most, you know, amount of money from the most number of people uh, because, I mean, that's just what the market is designed for, right? So what you are going to likely see is that because obviously at this point after crashing, something like, you know, uh, let me say just yeah, 30% or something like that, we are due for some kind of a relief friendly right but you know i don't think the price target is going to be hit because uh, you know market makers are just going to be trying and playing with this thing right so i expect the price to stop right before it gets to its price target. so i'm looking at something like six dollars sixty about and then in the best case scenario if we would continue higher we are taking a look at a price target of something like six dollars ninety right but then again even after reaching the technical price target I don't want you guys to forget that you know what we need for confirmation that this right here was the bottom is still something like seven dollars sixty if we break and close about seven dollars sixty this is your confirmation that yes this was the bottom right here until then until then i still expect the price even after reaching the price target of this image or triangle right here to come down all the way down to something like five dollars here because this is where our main support levels are sitting and if you take a look at it even from a work of accumulation standpoint we wouldn't necessarily have broken our bullish stance by it because as you can see here we are still maintaining higher lows as we continue to the upside price so our last point of support price here will still be in touch when it comes to the wake of accumulation pattern so that is still a possibility yes it is hard to stomach something like a 20 percent uh, dump to the downside but i mean these are the things that really happen they actually happen in this market time and again and the reason why they happen time and again is because you know our mentality or we are wired in such a way that we believe that you know nah this is not going to happen until it happens and then we start panicking and then this is just how we lose money in the market so just be prepared for a scenario like that also one supporting argument for that scenario 
is the outgoing market. You can actually see that, yes, we have a bullish stance right here. We are bullish. It's almost 100% certain because you can see this amazing white of accumulation pattern. The same thing that we actually had going into the previous bull market, right? And you can also see the kind of back test that we are having at the moment was also the same thing that we are having right now. The problem with that is just we had a week and uh, this week right here, normally it has to be filmed, right? So yes, you may see a weekly candle, which is green, but then again, slowly but surely, I mean, the price may even do something like that. This right here, the price may even do something like this right here, rise a little bit, but then again, still find a way to back test that support level. And that is going to happen across the whole market because if you just take a look around the market right now, there is that gap, right? So there is tension, at least in my own mind, there is that likelihood of the market crushing something like another 20%, right? In the immediate short term, that doesn't even invalidate any of our bullish case scenarios. In fact, it actually gives us another opportunity to buy back into these outcomes already, especially Filecoin, because as I was just mentioning, if you would buy right around five dollars, the main support level there, you are looking at something like a 425% just to hit the main price target that we are taking a look at. That is also in the immediate short term. It doesn't really mean that uh, Filecoin is not going to do great things, but, but you know, in the immediate short term, we are just taking a look at something like 25 cents, 27 dollars, sorry. And uh, that's where I see the price in the moment. Obviously, none of what I say is financial advice and you shouldn't buy or sell anything because of anything I say, all right? But if you like the content, don't forget to tap the like button, share the video to friends and family, and then I'll love to see you on the very next one. Take really good care of yourselves. Bye.